wait, little kitty. Well, before you eat it, do consider those houseflies having their share of your meal as well. Well, for that, let me answer a yucky question. What happens when a fly lands on your food? Zoom in. I'm sure most of us have had that inevitable moment when a housefly decides to grace our meal with its presence and we become unsure of what to do. Should we just shoo away the fly and proceed to eat or toss the food into the dustbin? Well, to know the answer, here are a few things to consider about these pesky bugs. Firstly, flies love to hang around rotting animals, plant waste and other junk. Unfortunately, these decaying zones are also home to various bacteria, viruses and pathogens. So when the fly sits on waste, these unwanted guests stick to their bodies. It means that when it buzzes over to your food, it's not alone. It's brought along a whole squad of germs for a surprise party on your plate. Perhaps one quick touchdown won't cause any harm to your food. But when a fly lingers on your meal for a long time, it's like giving germs a VIP pass to grow and multiply. If those germs happen to be the nasty kinds of Salmonella or E. coli, it seriously increases the risk of catching infections such as food poisoning or gastrointestinal illnesses. While this might be the worst situation in developed nations like the USA, it gets worse for underdeveloped countries without proper sanitation systems. In these places, flies can carry germs from human waste and spread much more serious diseases like cholera, fibrosis or dysentery. But even if the fly doesn't have harmful germs, you still wouldn't want it to nibble on your snack because of how flies eat. Yes, that's because Flies don't possess teeth to chew on your food like mammals do. Instead, they possess a proboscis, a long tube-like mouth part used to slurp up liquids. When they land on your food, they vomit digestive enzymes onto the surface, which allows them to liquefy solid foods by altering their chemical composition, making it easier for them to consume. But even though the actual health risks are very low if a fly lands on your food, there's no harm in taking extra caution by removing the piece of food where the fly landed before eating it. And if you live in an environment with fewer hygienic practices, ensure that your food is covered while it sits in an open area. Moreover, you can use screens on windows and doors to prevent flies from sneaking in. It's also a great idea to maintain cleanliness around your house by regularly disposing of trash, covering garbage cans and cleaning up after pets poop. But remember my friends, although flies carry harmful substances, Completely wiping them out wouldn't be an ideal choice as they help nature by pollinating plants, decomposing waste and becoming a tasty snack for other bug-eating animals. So, it's important to create a world where every living thing can live happily and peacefully. Trivia time! Did you know that on average, the life cycle of a housefly only lasts around 30 days? Despite their short span, houseflies can lay up to 500 eggs in their lifetime. It's sketching time! Today's sketch of the day goes to Vikshita. Hope you learned something buzzing today. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out.
Never mind.